Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast jumping back into Let's Play Animal Crossing Wild World here on the Nintendo DS. Uh, I think this is the first fall uh, I'm playing Wild World here, and there are acorns on the ground, it looked like. Um, let me get outside and see what it looks like out here. I see acorns. Oh, oh, something's happening today. Hey, everybody, it's time for the Acorn Festival. It looks like Tortimer's up there with an acorn on his head. That's pretty dope. Let me check my mail. <laughs> From Benedict. Okay. Read this, John. I'm having my birthday bash on October 10th. You should come and bring me a huge president. President. Present. See you then, Benedict. Okay. So that one's from Benedict, and this one's from the HRA. John, your room gets 9,793 points. It's better, but we worry about the size. Where will you put your furniture? Okay. So that's the nonsense uh, I got in the mail today. Let me get my shovel. I'm going to equip my shovel real quick, because there is something right here to dig up, and I missed it? Wow, okay. Look at all the acorns. Holy crap, man. So we got a fossil. Beautiful. And I'm going to dig up, or rip this weed out. I'm going to collect all these acorns. I imagine I'm going to need these acorns for something... Maybe Tortimer wants some acorns. Okay, so there's definitely no shortage of acorns. They're freaking everywhere. As are the weeds, which is frustrating. But how many acorns do you think I need? All of the acorns? None of the acorns? Let me check this. Talking to myself. Uh, do you want to know what my base salary is? I can't tell you exactly, but there are lots of zeros. Oh, in front or behind the number? Anyway, uh, the Acorn Festival will continue until next Monday. Get out there and enjoy some acorn picking good times. Oh yeah, okay, so here's... Let me try to find the beginning here. Okay, so it's... Here's the last we saw, I think. Um, my sister's been... Oh wait, no, no, no. Acorn Festival notice. The Acorn Festival starts next Monday. Let's all go find nature's most eerie and mysterious of gifts, the mighty acorn. Yeah, I remember commenting on how weird that description was last time. Uh, notice the flea market is open for business tomorrow. Missed that, so it doesn't matter. Talking to myself, my sister's been going to hotels lately, so one day I followed her. She was eating the free buffet. Sounds like a good plan. I'm hungry. Uh, acorn Festival notice. Starting tomorrow, we can all enjoy the wonder uh, that is the acorn and even an eye out. Wait. And keep an eye out for Cornimer. So I guess Tortimer with an acorn on his head becomes Cornimer. Cool. Uh, trying to save money? Eat your rotten turnips. Oof. Uh, acorn Festival notice. Ba -ba -da -ba -da, saw that one. And talking to myself, saw that one. Okay. So let me snag these last... Oh, no, I'm I'm too full of acorns. Cornimer! Cornimer, sir! I grabbed a chestnut once, but its sharp spine scraped my head. Another time, I tried to bash a walnut with a mallet, but I hit my foot instead. That's why I love acorns, because they're painless, smooth, and round. That's right, I love acorns, and they abound when I'm around. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the mysterious Cornimer. <laughs> oh, mysterious. For the next week, I'll be using my special powers to scatter acorns around town. I want Cornimer 
to be oh, there's a balloon floating by but i don't care uh, i want cornimer to be the anim in this next animal crossing new horizons update make it happen bring me cornimer <laughs> okay uh much like the tooth fairy but in reverse with acorns not teeth and no tiara if you find an acorn bring it to me in fact bring them all if you bring me enough, maybe I'll reward you with a nice prize. Hehe, <laughs> Horf. I'm not normally in the strong-arming business, Sprout. I mean, little Oki. But don't you dare bring me a rotten acorn. Give me one of those, and there's no telling what I might be driven to do. Yes, John. You have been warned. Wait, how do we know if they're rotten or not? Okay. There are different kinds of acorns I'm seeing here. So that makes sense. So we've got rotten acorns, rotten acorns, round acorns, acorns, and a large acorn. Can we multi-select acorns? The Great Cornimer has the power to reveal the secrets of the cosmos! How? By using... Er... Acorns. Would little Oki like Cornimer to divine the fu to divine the future? You're creepy. Do it. Yes. Now let's see. First, you grip the acorn tightly, as if it held your soul. The cool acorn digs into the flesh of your hand, leaving an indelible mark. This is the weirdest thing ever, dude. And in that fleeting moment. You can see into limitless space and time. Here we go. It's becoming clear. That was a creepy animation. He was like, ah. Uh, we o we o we o wa a corneo. This parchment will reveal the myster the mysteries of your future. It holds the true fate of John, written in fine detail. At least I think so. But perhaps not. Who can truly understand the mysteries of an acorn? What I mean, little Oki, is read it with a grain of salt or a clove of garlic. I don't know, whichever you prefer. Okay, so wait, what just happened? I'm so confused. I didn't get anything, did I? Wait. It, did he put a letter in my pocket or something? Oh, yeah, here it is. A fortune. Your secret fortune. Giant acorn. Life. Dream come true. Hopes. Prepare for joy. Karma. You'll feel great. Look behind you. Everything, every part of that fortune was great until we hit the look behind you part. That was kind of weird. Are you gonna take these acorns, Cornimer? Look at you, little Loki. You're just nuts for nuts, if acorns are nuts. Well, let's see how many acorns you brought me. The total is nine, and of course I may have them all. No way! No, some of them are rotten, dude. Here, let me just... I'm just gonna drop the, the rotten ones. Uh, over here. Well, he's getting mad, but, like, I don't want to... So this is the crap pile. Any more rotten ones? Of course. So let me go get some more acorns. I'm just gonna fill my pocket up, Cornimer. Give me a second. Oh, what is this? Something else to dig up. It's a gyroid! A dingaloid. Yeah, there are a lot of acorns here. It's gonna be rotten, isn't it? Okay, no. Beautiful. So after this, I'm going to I'm gonna cash in these these acorns. So I brought eight this time, but they're all not rotten, so. Of course. So that'll clear some pocket space. Uh oh boy. Just call me Cornimer the Mysterious. Grab acorns till you're delirious. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Uh, the number of acorns you've given me is eight. But the great cornimer hungers for more. More, I say. Yeppers, looks like it's time for your prize. How about a mush stool? Okay, cool. Hehe, <laughs> Horf, 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 Horf. Are you happy, little Loki? Take care of it. And remember, little Loki, the great and mighty Cornimer is always watching. The great and mighty Cornimer. Let me go get some more acorns. For I am little Oki, the acorn gatherer. Little Oki, the acorn gatherer. Um, I feel like the, uh, the squirrel villagers should just be going absolutely bananas right now. Oh, wait, it actually says when you're picking them up. Oh, well. Let me, um, go check this fossil in with blathers. Maybe clear a pocket space. <laughs> but it, it does actually show or say, like, what, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, what kind of acorn it is before you pick it up. So that's good to know. <laughs> okay. A mammoth torso. That is, I should return it. Yes, it's new. Beautiful. Sure, take it. Alright, so something new for the Domoberg Museum. Beautiful. The mammoth is complete now, too! Allow me a moment to tell of the mammoth. Okay, let's learn about the mammoth, everybody. It resembled an elephant and only became extinct a mere 10,000 years ago. This shaggy beast lived in the Ice Age and developed pronounced tusks. What what? Yes, it used them to scrape ice and snow to get to the plants that it fed on. Ah, who? I'm so very sorry. I'd rather a mammoth blabbermouth my- Wait, I'd- I'm rather a mammoth blabbermouth myself. What? Uh, so, might there be any other fossils? No, not at the moment. Uh, so let's check out this mammoth, shall we? This finally completed mammoth. Uh... Uh, I'm stoked that we completed the mammoth. So it must be in the second room. So let's run back there. Mammoth! <laughs> is it like in the back here somewhere? Oh, there it is. Alright, so there's the completed mammoth. Beautiful. Okay. So let's run on out here and get more acorns for the acorn festival. <laughs> We must feed the almighty Cornimer. The almighty Cornimer. <laughs> okay. Everywhere you go is just small acorns. Wait. Yeah. I don't know what to do about the rotten. What happens if I give him a rotten acorn? What do you want? Is that a rotten acorn? Can I take it off your hands? No. Uh, hey, what's up, John? I got this crazy letter. Check it out, meow. Young Tangy. You always second guess yourself. Think of all the time you'd save if you stopped doubting yourself. The voice of reason. Okay. I'm not sure what it means exactly. Who cares, though? I mean, you just get super stoked reading it, meow. Hey, John, you ought to get really fired up in your writing, too. Okay, well, let me go drop this crappy acorn over here. Oops. I can't wear an acorn, can I? Crap! Oh, man. Pressing wrong buttons and everything. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Cornimer. I'll be right back. 
Acorn. Boom. All right, Cornimer. I've got like eight more. I got er acorns for you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Take them all. <laughs> it's crazy how quickly you fill up your pockets. Like eight spaces or eight acorns at a time or nine at a time. It seems like um a mush end table. Okay. It seems like you should. It would, you know, take a minute. To fill up your pockets, but it really doesn't. There are just so many acorns, really. Um, I wish acorns were this easy to find in, uh, oops, in New Horizons, though. Large acorns, snag that one. So I guess from here on out, I'll just not pick up the rotten ones. Is that sound like a plan? Because <laughs> like we had that scrap pile back there. But it's probably just easier just to not pick them up in the first place. I didn't realize that you... Well, first, I didn't realize that there were rotten ones. And then once I did realize there were rotten ones, I, uh... Didn't realize you gotta identify them by just standing over them. Like that. So. Rotten. Rotten. Round. <laughs> rotten. Rotten. Round. Rotten. Small. Small. Oh, crap. Okay. How long am I gonna, um, do this for? I guess we're just gonna cram and try- We'll spend the whole episode doing it. Why not, right? Trying to collect as much as possible, because there's no Halloween in, uh, in this game. So I might as well take advantage of the Acorn Festival. Twenty-three. I have something quite nice for you. But I need more acorns. Two more, get it? Okay, so I need two more. Before I get my next prize. I haven't exactly nailed down what the number is that is necessary to get prizes. Look at it. Rotten. Small. Okay. So that's actually enough, but I'm just going to say screw it, and rotten, round, and round, beautiful. <laughs> Might as well just get out, you know, all of them I can find. This one is large, this one is round, this one is small, this one was rotten, right? No. Crap, okay, but I'm out of space. Okay, so we're gonna... Oops. You literally can't talk to him from far away. You have to be all up in his face. Okay, there we go. Look at you, little Oki. Yeah. Seven more. Yeah, sure. Take all seven of them. Give me, I need flooring and wallpaper. Give me some mush flooring. A mush lamp. No! I can't put these things down and make my house look good until you give me the flooring. I am curious as to what happens if you do give him a rotten... Uh, acorn though. So let me go in here and put some stuff down inside my house. That's gonna be... Oh my god! Why? Why are there cockroaches? It's been a week! Okay. I don't even have a big enough house to really do anything with. Uh, mush end table. Mush stool. So the mushroom furniture in here is the same as in um, City Folk. It is apparent. I'm half tempted to uh, just sell all this stuff. I'm not sure 
how much it's worth, though. That one's rotten. That one's probably rotten as well, yeah. Okay. Tangy! Get out of my way! <laughs> okay, so this one's a small acorn. This one's rotten, confirmed, right? Yeah. Round. Acorn. Weeds. Small. More weeds. Large. Small. Acorn. Rotten. Small. Rotten. Okay, so we're gonna fit one more. And there it is. Oops, whoops. Are these both rotten? No, that one's not. Neither of them are. All right. We're getting pretty far away from, no, Benedict, I'm sorry, not today. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy, busy satisfying the great and powerful Cornimer. Thirty-nine. But I need one more acorn, seriously. So I'm gonna run back down here. pluck this weed, and then keep going down here. Rotten, and this one was rotten too, yeah. If I don't, uh, if I don't get the flooring or the wallpaper on this next one, I'm gonna go grab all my items that I've collected so far and see what they're worth selling-wise. Because right now, I don't even have enough room in my house to really decorate for any holidays. Not that there are any real holidays in this game. But, like, if I wanted to totally go all out and make it a mushroom-themed uh, house, I can't really do that right now. Ooh. Be a fossil. Ah, crap, it's a gyroid. Not really... <clears throat> Not really seeking gyroids right now. But... Let me just run up here, give him this, see what he gives me. If he gives me um, either the wallpaper or the flooring, I may continue on my quest to collect all the furniture, but we'll see. Yeah, sure. Uh, but then I am definitely going to give him a raw one real quick. What is it? A mush chair. Okay, so we're gonna see how much they're worth, because he's not giving me... He's not giving me what I'm here for. Step one. I'm gonna give him all of these rotten... Uh, these rotten acorns. I'm, like, all up in his grill, too. Just, like face-on-face -face action. What? Were you even listening to what I said to you? After I told you in so many words to not bring me any rotten acorns? Ack, how dare you treat the great Cornimer like he's the village idiot. Oh my god. As punishment, I shall claim all of these rotten acorns as my own. <laughs> Horf? Take that frustration and use it to find me more acorns. Oh, okay, so there's... I'm gonna shoot down this balloon. Come on, baby. No. Pop, you jerk. What is happening, dude? There we go. Say, where's it gonna drop though? We're pretty high up on the, on the map. Okay, so bringing him um, rotten acorns just does nothing. He just doesn't. He keeps them, 
but he doesn't, like, care. I was kind of hoping he would give me, like, a, an acorn head or something. A Florence flask. I think that's a science thing, like a beaker type of thing. Um, and I'm not interested in that, so... Yeah, once, uh, once you shoot down a balloon once in this game, it kind of loses, you kind of, it loses its fascination. I still want to shoot down a, a UFO. Haven't gotten the chance to do that yet. I keep accidentally open. Did I just drop my shovel on the ground? I totally did not mean to do that. I meant to, oops, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Um, I keep opening the map instead of my inventory. And I was just trying to equip my shovel and not just drop it on the floor. Okay, there's a fossil. Maybe we can complete another, uh, another fossil? Question mark? Maybe it'll be the same stupid mammoth, whatever. So let's run into the museum. I'll talk to Brewster, too. Uh, cause I do have to some, at some point, unlock gyroid storage, if that's a thing in this game. I don't really know. It is in City Folk, so I assume, seeing as this game is pretty, this, pretty much the same game. But, this game is also, it's the same thing as City Folk, but minus a lot of stuff. Uh, so, <clears throat> so it could be minus gyroid storage as well, I'm not totally sure. Ooh, cool. So it is new. Sure, take it. Cool. Okay, so that one's not going to complete anything, but it is still a good contribution to the museum. And then I'll run downstairs and talk to Brewster and get a cup of get a cup of coffee from him. Why don't you take a seat right over there? Okay. One, please. Thanks. I don't remember... If you just need to buy an X number of, uh... I don't know if you have to get an X number of coffee cups... Or if you have to come back, uh, like, seven days in a row or whatever. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> but I think as you go, you grow an affinity for the coffee. Like, the first time you get it, it's like, ugh, it's bitter. Um, you grow an affinity for the coffee. And then as you grow an affinity for the coffee, I think Brewster grows an affinity for you. And that's how, you know, that relationship grows, and that's how you get the, uh, the gyroid storage, assuming it's in this game. So I have these two gyroids I have nothing to do with right now. I might end up selling them, because I need a bigger house. And Financial Gain is the name of the game at the moment. I'm totally, and the mushroom furniture totally just doesn't match at the moment. Um, I've kind of got my, like, little bachelor pad in here, and I like the way it looks, and the mushroom furniture just, if I had another, uh, room, maybe, I would consider leaving, or I would consider keeping the mushroom stuff, but as it stands, I don't know, we're gonna find out, I'm sorry, person, Melba. Uh, we're gonna find out how much it's actually worth, though. It might be worth nothing, but I remember in, um, City Folk, when I was a kid, uh, holiday furniture was, like, uber valuable. So I'm hoping it's the same case with this. <laughs> I'll sell those two gyroids, then, you know what, I'm just saying it all. Screw it. How much you willing to give me, Nook? 10,356 bells. <clears throat> not too shabby. Could be better. Uh, but not too bad. I'm not sure how much the gyroid... How much of the gyro... 
of that were the gyroids either, though. Um, so, you know. Um, let me go see where my house debt is at. Oh, you still want to talk to me? Okay. Usually they don't want to talk to you anymore after you blow them off once. Howdy, John. I've got a quiz for you, Toasty. If I were a film star, what sorts of films do you think I'd star in, Toasty? Adult films. Oh. Uh, r romantic comedy. <laughs> are you serious? I know the girls in those movies are cute and all. But they're just so vapid. All they ever do is moon over some sensitive loser. It's not... You're not wrong. Uh, I want more from life than that, Toasty. Alright, I'm sorry, question mark? I'm sorry for answering incorrectly? <laughs> Pay mortgage. Current balance is 69000 Firm. <laughs> Boom. So now we're down to what? 59,000? 59,000, baby. <laughs> Let's, uh... I'm gonna go try to catch some red snappers and pay that off. You know what? No, I'm not. <laughs> I just... I looked down. I was like, I've been playing for 30 minutes. This is the 30-minute mark of the video. Um... So that's actually where we'll leave off. So today we paid down our debt by 10000 and we took part with the great and powerful Cornimer. I'm going to stand next to him just for a great pick. Oops, I keep doing that, dude. Let me remove equipment. There we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot, you can't look up in this game. So, like, whether this makes the thumbnail or not uh, is up for debate. But anyway, there's that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you love Animal Crossing Wild World or any of the Animal Crossing games as much as I do, and you love Nintendo games as much as I do, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell for notifications here on YouTube when I do live streams here on the channel every single month, and when I upload and premiere new video content every single weekday of every single week here on the channel. Make sure to smash that like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think of Cornimer? I was gonna say Mayor Cornimer, but shh, it's not it's not Tortimer, it's Cornimer, the mysterious Cornimer. Um, would you like to see Cornimer make a return in Animal Crossing New Horizons or in future Animal Crossing games? I think this is the only game Cornimer exists in, uh, which is sad. But I also wish I could get uh, a Cornimer mask. I want a Cornimer head to wear um, year-round. It's pretty great. Until next time... Uh, thank you so much for watching.